Hey guys, welcome to D3D5. My name is Saro and today in this video we are going to see what is slicing software or the slicer. Slicing software essentially acts as a middleman between the 3D model and the printer. It prepares the selected model for your 3D printer, generating G code, which also called NC, numerical control programming language. In particular, the model is converted from a HTML format to the commands in the GCO format that a printer can recognize and follow. The slicer first divides the object as a stack of flat layers followed by describing these layers as linear movements of the 3D printer extruder, fixation laser or equivalent. All these movements together with some specific printer commands like the one used to control the extruder temperature or bed temperature are finally written in the G-code file that can after be transferred to the printer. There are a large number of slicing software out there, many of which are free. The top 5 which we feel should be in the list are Octoprint Octoprint slicer is considered to be the best option in the market for remotely controlling the 3D printer operation. The cloud-based software gives its user the freedom to control printing via browser. The application is installed on Raspberry Pi, which can be extended further by using easily available plugins. Further, using its control-based operations enables you directly to load an HTML file onto the 3D printer without having to use an SD card interface. Pros It's open source and free. Contains an integrated slicer software that is based on the powerful Cura engine. The software gives great mobility to the users who can read the G code directly from the printer. So, what are its cons? It only supports HTML files currently, and also it is not good for beginners. The next in the spot is Kip Slicer, which is Keep It Simple Slicer or Kip Slicer, is one of the most user friendly 3D slicers available in the market. You can select the package from the available options of free, commercial and educational versions. The free version is suitable for amateurs who want to get hands-on experience with 3D printing. Further, the pro versions provides features like multi-head printing and G-code generation. What are the pros? The software provides smart multi-head temperature control. It also allows adjustable printer speeds. The slicer can handle complex mesh. And its cons are, its print features are offered free by other slicing softwares. Also, you have to manually generate the G-code for unsupported printer. The third one is Slicer, another great open source 3D printer slicer on the list. Thanks to actively contributing community of the slicer developers, professionals today are able to use many 3D printing features. For instance, the use of brain, micro layering, multiple extruders, bridge detection, command line slicing, sequential printing, etc are all examples of the features that were developed by the slicer community. One of its best features is its ability to view the infill pattern of honeycomb structure separately across the layers. This gives the designers the freedom to create unique designs, independent of the other layers of the design. So what are its pros? Its open source and powerful software with features to edit designs in real time can be directly linked to the Octoprint's box. It provides the option of real-time incremental slicing. And also, what are its cons? It's not suitable for beginners. The number 2 in the spot is Cura. While S3D is considered to be the best paid slicer in the market, Ultimaker's Cura takes the number 1 spot for the open source slicers. Since it's free to use, Cura has become of the most widely used 3D printer slicer in the world. Also, Cura 3D slicer can process HTL, 3MF and OBJ formats which gives it the versatility to work with almost all 3D printers in the market. What are its pros? It contains a simple interface with a highly customizable dashboard. Also, it is easy to use for experts and beginners alike. It's open source and it's free. The slicer provides option to edit, tinker and visualize complex designs. So what are its cons? Well, the time estimation can show on the error of 10-20 minutes. The first on the list is Simplify 3D. Simplify 3D is the best available 3D slicer for professionals. The slicer is compatible with almost all 3D printers of the industry. Its key features include a high processing speed, a user-friendly interface and powerful features to edit the 3D models. Also, the slicer allows you to edit raw G codes with relatively easy while experimenting with the different nozzles you can edit. Settings like extruders, layers and select from the various infill methods temperature, control and cooling time settings to get optimal results. So what are its pros? Gives you high quality 3D printing results. Also, it provides multiple options to customize your model printer settings. 
Its powerful feature allows you to edit and process complex models. Also, it has very high processing speed. And also, what are its cons? It is an expensive option for beginners. Well, for our use, we use Cura and Simplify 3D. I hope you guys have understood what is a slicing software and how it is used and how well it will serve your purpose. Also, if you want an object or design to be 3D printed, there is a link down in the description box. Please go and check it out. Thank you for watching and keep printing.